Wow, that tree is actually pretty cool. And of course, it was made by Julius himself. Also, I can't help but recognize that we have a new neighbor that has kind of been coming through this tunnel quite a bit. And you know me, I mean, I like to recruit people to be part of my team, but of course, I need a team for that to happen. So I was thinking maybe we should start a cult. I think that's a pretty good way of putting it. Stay tuned for more news on the cult. Also, I go in my chest, which is my mailbox, every single day, and there's like two rows of random junk that I keep in here, but there's always something new. Yesterday, it was a bone block. Today, it's tropical fish. Tomorrow, who knows what it's going to be. Anyways, I think that highlights a problem that I need to get started on fixing. And no, I have not been able to add to my collection of the militia because there are a lot of people on right now and trying to get any piglins to spawn is not going to be a fun task. It's also come to my attention that what I did in the last episode was a little bit unclear, so I'm going to try to be a little bit more clear in what I'm doing today. First off, storage system because right now, this is not working. Second off, despite what I said about not wanting to decorate my house, I actually probably should because I want a cool place to sleep and these piglins are kind of getting in the way for right now. Thirdly, I need to do something about that. You see, I tried to actually use my farm and test it out with all the decorations around it and this wall blew up revealing a large part of the inside, which I don't really care for, so I'm gonna do my best to try to fix that, but if you've noticed, I actually finished the back part of this, which I did not show off in the last episode because, yeah, I really didn't plan that thing through. But here it is, and I'm actually not too upset about it. I mean, I kinda like it. I also added uh, some deep slate to the top part of this because I love deep slate and I wanted to put it in here somewhere, and I figured it would work perfectly to kinda make it look like a tower at the top to cover up all that TNT stuff that was going on. And like I said, I'm happy with how it turned out, and I might actually do some more stuff with that later on, because I have started, once again, the foundations of a town. And this little circle right here is going to allow me to build a large tower that will go up into the air and allow me to go all the way to the top and see for a good distance in each direction, which is not all that much. It's only 16 chunks that I have my render distance set to uh, with fog on, but still, I think it will be pretty cool once we get that built up. And maybe we can add some stuff on the inside as well. But getting back to the storage system thing, I need to figure out where I actually want to put that. And I have no idea where I want to put it as of right now. But I'm thinking probably somewhere in this general vicinity over here or even expand over this way. Because Julius's base is over there and I think it'd be pretty cool to expand over towards him and then eventually make a big path going all the way to his base. Because as of now, he's the closest neighbor that I have. But if you guys couldn't tell already, when it comes to putting things in the actual proper space where they need to be, I just don't do well with that. And already, I'm pretty sure this episode has gotten confusing. Also, I have not forgotten about the 10 withers at once challenge because that is something that I'm really looking forward to. But unfortunately for right now, the people that I want to fight the withers with are not available and I will have to wait until the next episode to do that because... These episodes are kind of getting pumped out real quick, and uh, I'm trying to make sure that I can keep a good schedule going on here. So I'm going to have to wait till the next episode to do that. But for right now, I hope I've made things clear as to what I'm doing. Um, I'm trying to get better at that, but let me know if I'm still kind of being confusing about this whole thing. Because I watch these videos back sometimes, and I'm like, what in the world was I talking about? It seems here that we have a few possible contestants to join my militia. So hopefully, if I press this guy, they'll all get mad at me, come through, and I can name tag them. Which it seems we have a few more contestants than I wanted, but that is okay as long as I don't die. And are you name tag? No, you're not name tag. Oh shoot, they found a way through. Now I've just realized something, and that is that the trap doors on the other side of my portal are still closed, and I need to leave them open if I want these guys to funnel into there. So what I'm going to try to do is get through here before those guys do and open these back up, go back through the portal and then try to make them mad at me again. Now, fortunately, oh, no. OK, so they don't need to be mad at me. That's I, that's clear. OK. So now that we have a few more members to our militia, we can move on. So now that that is out of the way, I need to start clearing an area for my storage system to go because this is going to be a big plot of land that I'm going to have to put it on and I need it to be all perfectly flat and suitable so that I can get all this place down. And as you can see here, I decided to put it right next to the town that I'm going to be building because this is actually going to be like the edge of the town. Um, the reason that there's this yellow wall right here or yellow wall of 
wool blocks, I guess, um, we're going to have this raised up and it's going to be like a five or six block tall wall of like stone or concrete or something. And behind it is just going to be like a bunch of land all raised up and we're going to have most of the town sitting on there. So I figured it would probably make the most sense to have my storage system kind of outside of the town so I don't have to go in through the town every single time I want to get to my stuff. And also, it would just kind of stand out a little bit and make it look a little bit more special. And after a little bit of thought, I'm actually thinking that maybe an overground storage system might not be the best. Now don't get me wrong, I still want to build a good part of this like on top of the ground in a actual building, but I do want a considerable amount of this to be underground as well, just so that we're not making another huge building like that because too many of those might make the town look a little bit odd. And besides that, it's not really like we have a ton of room to do this above the ground anyways because, well, we only have about this much room and we can expand that way, but we can't exactly expand that way. I don't want to expand up on top of that hill and I don't want a huge footprint with this either, which means, I have to dig straight down. So in the meantime, I'm going to start planning out where I want all of my chests to go and in what order I want them to go and what blocks I want to go where. Just basically everything that you would have to figure out in an auto storage system. And after a good bit of planning, I've come together with the general concept of everything that I want to be auto sorted. And this is kind of what it looks like. I basically just have all of the kind of wood planks and logs that I want, some glass, uh, everyday use items, some of the like iron and coal and emeralds, agricultural products, uh, some of the redstone over here, building blocks all throughout here, and some of the stones that I tend to get a good bit of. And of course I have some mega storage over here for like the, the sticks and sand and some of the stones and gravel. Um, but I think this should work decently. So, um, yeah, this, this may be happening right now. I definitely fell in here and yeah. It, it, it's a whole situation. And now some pigmen have my elytra and my helmet and all my gear. And you know, I'm just kind of stuck in the middle with all of them. You know, I don't think I've ever been in more of a conundrum because I literally cannot kill any of these zombified piglins because if I do, then they will just kill me. So I, I can't get out of here. I can't dig a hole up because they'll all escape. I can't kill any of them because they will kill me and I can't fly away. I mean, what am I supposed to do? All right, so I think I might have a solution. The only problem is these pigmen tend to surround me pretty quickly and I can't exactly place blocks right now. Also, if I sound a little bit funny, it's because I'm currently recording in the wee hours of the night. You see, I didn't plan on recording right now, but well, you see, I was kind of just getting some pigment in here and this kind of just happened. But I think if I try to dig back and not hit in these pigmen, because I'm pretty sure I almost just did, then it will kind of let them come back here a little bit and give me some more room up front over here, which eventually will mean that I can start barricading myself off and get rid of some of these guys and start to make a tunnel out of here. Yes, I did it. I barricaded myself off. Okay, so I can just dig this way and try not to drown. And now I am basically free, except now I have to figure out how to get my armor back. But, oh my gosh, guys, I'm not dead again. That feels good. You know, it's funny because as soon as I thought I was free, I came back to sleep in my bed. And of course, now I can't get out of my house because there's pigmen surrounding the door. Okay, so now that I have a tunnel dug so that I can get to the pigmen, I can... Oh, I just tried to fly. Okay. Well, uh, now I can actually get some slabs and try to pinpoint these guys that have my armor so that I can kill them without getting killed in the process and without having to kill all of the pigment. Oh, I already have some slabs. Okay. Well, um, that's good. Anyways, I can try to kill the pigment that have my armor um, because that's like my one niche at this point because I can escape, but I can't get my stuff back. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and dig this block out and then place a slab right here. And I'll probably dig one more block down, place a slab right there. And now I need to take my axe and try to just pick off the guys that have my armor once they walk over here. So this is probably going to be a long process. And what has Smart Ronin just gotten? He has a shovel with all possible enchantments, a bow with all possible enchantments, and an infinity bow. Look at him go. He's doing pretty good. And of course, we have a guy right here, so I'm going to try to kill him. 
but of course they all crowd me at the same time. So this might be a little bit longer of a process than I thought it would be. I have one piece back. I have my leggings. Okay, so this is going okay. Now I only have three more things to go. And now I have my helmet and my boots. So the only thing that's left is to get my elytra, but I think this might be a little bit difficult because this guy is standing in the back and he knows what's going on at this point. And he says, I am not up for this. That's right, folks. I am free now. I have all of my stuff and look at me go. I actually need to put my wings on and get my sword back because one of them stole my sword. But yeah, I mean, I have my stuff back and this feels pretty good. Um, Smart Ronin's ass and how I did it. I, I'm not really sure. It was just pure genius. I mean, I am a true survivor. But now what I need to do is get started on getting my storage system in place because I never actually updated you guys since I came back from creative mode. And this is still all I have. And I need to get started on figuring out where I want to put everything and start digging out a little hole because, like I said, most of the storage system is actually going to be underground. The only part you're going to be able to walk through um, that's above ground is going to be right here. And we're only going to have, I'd say, about six different sections like you can see now. And I need to figure out what I use the most so that I can kind of make use of that. And I'm not going underground to get stuff that I use all the time. And back in creative, I've figured out the blocks that I want to put on the main level of the storage system. I'm going to go with some of the building blocks mostly. So we have all the stones, um, some of the logs, planks of those logs, some more building blocks over here. Um, and then we have some like ores over here, mostly because of the emeralds and the iron that I use quite a bit, but also because of the coal and quartz for crafting some redstone products. Um, and then the last thing that I had was this stuff over here. Um, so mainly just for like terraforming or decoration or even a couple extra building blocks that I could use as well. And I'm also thinking that I'm probably going to put this on the top layer as well because... Uh, this is stuff that I use quite a bit, and I don't really want to go to the bottom level just to get um, stuff that I use like every day or I'm constantly having to refill. Uh, so I think it'd be easier just to put that on the top. But the rest of the stuff is going to go on the bottom level, and um, it's not really all that much stuff that's going to go on the bottom level, but I want to kind of make this storage system able to expand over time because I will want to add more stuff to it as time progresses. But for right now, this is like the main stuff that I use quite a bit, especially the redstone. The redstone, having it auto-sorted is just so much easier, uh, but I'm going to get started on building this. And then this happened. And in the middle of this, I have been presented with an opportunity to get some more pillagers pacified. The problem is they have a pillager leader, so I have to name tag all of these guys. And then hopefully I can run away... Most of them will not despawn, except for that guy, and we will have some guys that we can lock in a couple boats and then pacify them. So, as night sets in, I can grab a few boats and head over here. Hopefully, I can get these guys trapped without a problem, but I get the feeling that there's probably going to be a problem, especially since they're right next to my dogs. I don't want my dogs to get shot, so I'm going to try to lead them over this way a little bit and place a couple boats down, see if they walk into them. They probably will, uh, but this might be a little bit difficult. All right, so we have one in a boat. I just need to get three more in there. And uh, let me place, place one right here. We have two in. Now if they just kind of wander around, they should be able to make their way over towards the boats. And there we go. We have all of them in there. But they're not pacified yet, so I need to be careful when I go near them. And for the time being, I'm just going to go ahead and stand my dogs up and get them a little bit further away from those pillagers than they are right now because, yeah, I don't want them to get shot by accident and then... Lose a dog because that would be pretty unfortunate. But now I have my main six groups of blocks placed down. And what I have to do now is get building the auto storage system, which I'm going to do over a time lapse. And then I'll move on to the lower part of the storage system, which is probably going to be where the most work is at. Uh, but I do real quickly need to kind of place in the extra blocks that I'm going to have over here. The like everyday use things that I'm going to have, like the golden carrots and the, the rockets and the torches and scaffolding and all that good stuff. Um, but let's cut straight to a time lapse and try to build all this up.
And with that time lapse down the hatch, we have ourselves the beginning of a working auto storage system, which is really exciting. And uh, this will definitely save me a lot of time because I myself do not like to manually storage my items. And this takes a big load off of my chest. Get it? Because it's a bunch of chests and that's where you store stuff. Anyways, as you can tell, I changed a few things up. I have uh, some of the things that I was going to have auto-sorted in different groups, um, kind of scattered all over the place up top, um, which is something that I've never done before. But what I'm talking about here is that I have some chests on top here, um, which are auto-sorted. Everything here is auto-sorted. Um, but mainly I changed up like I have strip logs on top with some walls and the stairs and the fence gates and fences and some more stairs, lots of stairs and slabs. And I think this will make the whole thing a lot easier because instead of only having six groups plus the group back there of auto storage, I can have a good bit of the building blocks that I use for decoration and just one big hall and uh, eventually I'll have some more stuff underground, maybe even another building like this in the hole tunnel system will be connected up and uh one day you know we'll have like most of the items in minecraft auto sorted but that's not today because that's going to take a long time and these servers they tend to last like three to five years so yeah i i, I am going to want to have most of the stuff auto sorted but like i said i don't want to do that right now which before i forget about this thing i do need to decorate it up a little bit and get these, uh, these sides filled in, these little corners or notches right here. And I want to get a floor pattern going. I'm thinking just like dark oak uh, slabs going straight to like spruce and then to oak in the middle. Because I really like that floor pattern and I found it from Pixel Riffs and he is one of my most favorite YouTubers, Minecrafters. Really awesome builder and I follow a lot of his content. So uh, yeah, definitely check him out. But um, yeah, I'm going to try that pattern out, see how it works. And then hopefully I can come up with a good decoration for this thing because this is a pretty big building and yeah, decorating this is going to take quite a bit of work, but I think I can do it. Just not today because yeah, that's another thing that I want to put off because I don't like decorating everything at once and building everything at once. It's just not my bag of tea, I guess. Is that something that you say in America? That's what I say, I guess. But anyways, I'm going to end it there, uh, but before you go... I want you guys to check out my Twitch channel and maybe drop a follow, you know, uh, I 
don't really go live much anymore because I've been dedicating all of my Minecraft time to making videos at the moment. But um, I want to get back there just doing some of the grindy work. Um, we do have a couple things on the server that are going to take a lot of time, but I just can't really make videos out of. And I think it'd be really fun to live stream that stuff. So go check me out, twitch.tv forward slash dmar06. And uh, maybe we can see each other there. But anyways, it has been DMR. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys later. Bye for now.